Hello planner friends, my name is Sarah and I love sharing tips and tricks to help you stay optimized and organized and have fun at the same time. This is no surprise. Y'all know if you've been following me that I love, love Erin Condren. They had their Black Friday in July sale where everything was like 25% off for Erin Condren insiders. And I, of course, picked up a bunch of stuff. Not as many. I'm like really working to minimize like how much I spend. But these are all items that I love and use throughout the year. And there are items that I will be using in 2025. I kind of started a little bit early. I didn't want to wait until Black Friday because I really want to get everything like set up as fast as possible. Last year I didn't do like my planner setups until really late in the year. So you'll see some setups coming soon because I want to be all ready for 2025. I'm a planner. That's just how my brain works. So as always, if you like any of the products, they'll be listed below. I get a little kickback. So thank you so much if you used any of my links. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Here she is, my favorite Happy Mail, my Erin Condren box. I'm going to slice this baby right open. I am so happy this time that I got an actual like Erin Condren design box it just makes everything more beautiful last time i got bummed out because it came in a brown box but look at all the little details the enjoy sticker it's just it just makes you happy to open this up this is all i got honestly probably this is not the biggest haul i've done on this channel but i bought some very good pieces some very functional planning and this is the first time ever I'm getting a monthly planner ever in Erin Condren. So let's jump in. Next year, I am like completely changing my planning style. It's going to be so much different than what you've probably seen. I'm ready for a refresh. I was kind of in a planning hump and I just needed to change things up a bit. So this next year is the year that I'm deciding to do it. So I got some pieces that will help me with that. Let's start with the sticker sheets. And these are the multicolored square, like sheer stickers. If y'all seen any of my planner set of videos, I use these a lot. I had the circle ones, but these are square. This is like the more bright colored set. This is the pastel set. They feel really good, y'all. I don't know, it's so satisfying. And then you have the metallic, which this is the first time I see the hollows, so I love this so much. I'm gonna get some really good use out of them. You kind of use them to cover the date on the mini months. Then, since the monthly planner doesn't come with these sheets, this is the canvas set. I got a canvas layout for my monthly, so I thought, oh my gosh, I really need my <laughs> stickers that are in the back of the planner, so I just bought them separately because they're not included like the monthly planner has like a different set of stickers and then this envelope i just kind of saw it it's like the new year envelope and i thought it was so cute like just even the envelope like you could seriously use this it's so sturdy i loved like the goal stickers these are like goal setting stickers and i didn't do a lot of goal planning last year so I'm going to get back to it because I feel like I really need it. I feel like I need a goal refresh. And these are so cool like to write down like really important things that you need to focus on. Now, let's move on over to the inserts. I got some great inserts for my ring agenda. There are things that I've been missing that I realized I needed when I've been planning. So I got some inserts previously in my previous haul. You can probably see it. And it's the project planning set, the savings and debt payment tracker. I've got those inserts. I didn't get like the actual budget inserts, just the debt and savings. And I felt like I needed a few more. 
This year I did a lot of travel. Next year, we're not gonna travel as much as this year, but I really need it. I'm a person that packs it the last minute, so I just need to get in the mindset. So essentials, toiletries, clothes, miscellaneous, tech, shoes, snacks. Like it's got a space for everything and, and free space for you to write whatever you need. I thought this was very intuitive. Like this is what you would definitely pack when you're traveling. So it has plenty of packing lists and it has a travel itinerary, which I think is really great because you can use it interchangeably. I'm going to clip these uh, together with these little clips because I'm not going to put them in my planner all at once. I'm going to kind of put them in like an as needed basis. I got my goal inserts. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing like a lot of goal planning towards the end of the year. So I like this. I will say I didn't see the description very well. And I don't like that it says this week goals. I'll probably change it up, maybe change the headers a little bit because I don't know, like I don't see myself planning goals as much like each week, but these ones are really good. I loved the big picture goal ones. I think I'll get really good use out of these. And it's great that you can just kind of like stick them wherever you need on your planner. That's why I decided to get the ring agenda this year because I need that customizability with my planning. I got some grid paper because you always need some grid paper, honestly. I was going to get some lined paper too, but honestly, like my cart was so full. I'm like, I have to make a choice. And this grid paper, y'all, Erin Condon is my favorite, favorite paper in the world. There's really nothing like it honestly so i'm definitely going to be using these stickers to plan in my goal planner i just thought it's going to be really fun they're going to look great i'm just kind of like eyeballing it seeing how i'm going to set it up now for the sticker book the first one i got was this functional sticker book and I've never gotten this. Y'all, I'm not a functional planner. I am like, how many stickers can you fit on this page? I am going for the pastels. I feel like I'm like really moving towards this next year. And I was not prepared for how fun this sticker book is. It looks really great. Like it has an AM workout tracker. It has like those little gold icons. It has more of those like sheer stickers. I didn't know those were in here. I probably shouldn't have bought so many in that case. I need some weekend. I need more of those weekend stickers. And it has like habit trackers. There's a ton of stuff. There's the washi. I love these like quarter boxes. So I feel like this is going to get some really good use this year and I love the pastel. And this is the canvas sticker book. I have the Bold Bloom sticker book already. So I'm like, let me try getting the canvas one. It's reminding me a lot of the functional one. It's very similar. And these are cute. They're also the same like clear stickers, but they have like a little design on them. So this is really a lot like the functional one which is not necessarily bad because you can use them interchangeably and you can kind of bring them all together i like this oh my gosh i i love this a lot i don't know i'm going pastel can you believe it i've been so colorful for the longest time but i'm feeling the pastels this is the monthly sticker book this was free with your monthly planner orders. So I have plenty of these. You've probably seen me use these. I can't get enough of these monthly sticker books. They are the absolute best. I can use them like all day, every day. You can even do weekly spreads with these. But I was so excited. I didn't know they came with the free sticker books. I'm like, yes, sign me up for that. That was really exciting with my order. So definitely watch out for savings like these that are in Conran. I really like these sticker books. 
They're very similar, like these two, the canvas and the functional, but they work out. So let's hop on over to the monthly planner. As you can see, it's really thin. You can see it compared to my regular weekly life planner, the difference in size and, and my life planner is a chunky girl. <laughs> She's got a bunch of stickers, but you can still see the difference because of course the monthly planner doesn't have all the weekly spreads but it does have plenty of note pages and it has the same features as a regular life planner you can personalize it you can remove the cover so it's the same thing the only thing that i don't love is that it doesn't come with the vellum paper but it does have like the cover where you can write on with like a wet or dry erase i got the canvas design so it's quite neutral so you can decorate it and this is what i'm going to use the multicolored squares for over some of the dates like to color code specific dates throughout the year and this is like my favorite favorite page you get 12 boxes and i use it as a monthly overview there's a bunch of ways you can personalize that page all of the covers have the like regular quotes for each month and then you have the monthly spread the dashboard on the monthly planner is different from your life planner and you get one two three four five notes pages so that's really good i think in terms of notes pages and there's so much you can do with those i've seen this used as a budget planner i've seen people like do all of their kind of like weekly planning on this because like a weekly planner is sometimes too overwhelming there's just a bunch of ways for me the way i'm gonna use it is that i'm gonna get rid of my weekly life planner because i am so in the daily that i just kind of want to have a space where i put down my monthly plans and these beautiful spreads You've got like a ton of space. You've got your regular spreads that you would normally have in your life planner. And then at the end, of course, you have like the heritage and awareness observances. And then you have your next year at a glance, which would be 2026. And this is what I was talking about, that the monthly planner does not come with like the regular life planner stickers. These stickers are super cute, but I really needed my life planner stickers just to make it feel like my life planner, you know, because my life planner has become a little too overwhelming. So I'm really shifting my planning style. I can't believe I got a neutral, like this is not me, but I am so ready to move on from my life planner because it's the daily for me. It's really like the ring agenda has been a game changer right now. And I love my life planner, but it's time to say goodbye and say hello to my monthly planner. So I am excited for what 2025 will bring. You'll still see some spreads in my life planner until like I finish it up for the year, but my monthly planner is going to be like my main life planner for next year. And now I am going to show you my absolute favorite Erin Condren product, which is this monthly desk pad. It's the metallic one and it's technically a desk pad, but I've really never used it as such. It is so beautiful. The only thing I would say is that it doesn't have like very, very attractive monthly metallics. Like it's color coded, but it's color coded really weird. I would just like to see maybe like gold, silver, rose gold, but this one comes in like rose gold and then it comes in like different colors like light purple and you can't really see the colors as well through the camera, but it has like light blues, light purples. It's, it's a weird color scheme, but I'm going to look past it because the whole feel of this desk pad is absolutely incredible. I am using it as a wall calendar, but in previous years, I've kind of decorated each like month one at a time and put it on my cork board. It's just so luxurious. Like I could never imagine this as just like a desk pad, like underneath your pile of notebooks or whatever. It's really my favorite thing in the world. It has quotes on it, a space for notes. It's very, very large. 
You can decorate it with stickers. You can keep it functional. There's just so much that you can do with this. And the paper is absolutely incredible. It's like nothing I've felt before. So I am really excited to set this up come November or something like that because it really, really makes a great wall calendar. I'm going to like flip to the back of this where there are actually stickers. These sticker sheets are enormous and they have so many functional pieces like happy birthdays. You have the circles and it used to be that they matched up with the foil colors each month but now they don't. So it's okay, it's okay. I am going to say that it's okay, <laughs> but I love it. And this is my wall calendar this year. I love how I set it up. It is ginormous. It takes up my whole entire wall, but that's how I like it. <laughs> so that was it, that was the entire haul. I don't feel like I bought as many things as I have in other hauls because I've been buying little by little and I just wanna be ready. I want to start 2025. I know it's really early to think like, oh my gosh, 2025, it's, it's August. But I just wanna be prepared because that's how my brain works. Like I need to be prepared. I need to know that everything is checked off my list, but it, let me know in the comments, what is your absolute favorite Erin Condren planner and your favorite Erin Condren accessory. I know it's hard to choose if you are someone who loves Erin Condren because there's so many great, great things. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of planning tips and tricks, stationary hauls and all things organization and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss any of my videos. I post a link once a week. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for being here. Watch this video next.